hello everyone. I uh, how you doing? <laughs> welcome, welcome back. This is number four. I'm uh, from Lidox. Lidox, and well, how you doing? Shit. Uh, oh yeah. So like, okay, don't don't freak out. The tits is still there and everything. I I went back and I did all the stuff again that I did before and then died. So don't don't be shocked and alarmed. Like. I just found this save point. That's the only new thing is I found a save point in the area that I'm at. Uh, went back to went back to the green light thing because I think that I think that's pretty hip. I think I'm into the green light uh, for Metroid. For Metroid, anyways. You don't want to get too too white for uh, for Metroid. Now, should I fall in the water? Comment if I should fall in the water. Yes, let's do it. Into the water we go. Boy, that was a mistake. That was. Get him! Oh man, here at the turbine, you can't run. Try it. Good try. I'll bet I can just peace out right through the ceiling. Here. Yeah, I betcha. Oh man, and, and, and I forgot I could do this in all my attempts at cheesing. I totally forgot that this is an option that you have. The bomb, the good old fashioned. Just the good old fashioned, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Everyone loves a good old fashioned every now and then. Okay. Yeah, and of course, you just break this too. I'll break it all. Maybe I want that there though. Maybe I need suction. I don't know. Whatever. Well, cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh oh. This is not. This is not. Uh, it's not the best like challenge, you know. Just kind of. Just kind of working right here. I'm just doing work. Work done. Oh my God! Riveting, riveting. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be ankle height water through this section. That's what we'd like to see. Boy, am I happy! Uh oh! I love it every time, every time. So the way you know a Metroid's coming. <laughs> You know a Metroid's coming because they introduce a new dynamic that constricts your motion, such as water, up to the knee. Can I go? Can I go? Let me go! What? What is it? Nice! Oh yeah, that's cool. I like that. Now what? So you guys having fun right now? I was thinking of, uh... God, uh, still... Still just don't got it as far as that. I was thinking of uh, phobias. And, uh, go ahead and go ahead and think for a moment of something that frightens you. It doesn't have to be like conventional. Like maybe you don't have any fears of um, heights or uh, wide open spaces or you know, serpents. Okay, what? Don't even act. You like all acting like I've, I've been here before, but you know that I haven't. And so I was talking about spiders in that other one. So it all ties together, man. Let me tell you, it all ties together. God, why did I do that again? That was not the, the best strategy. I think the best strategy would be to just go there. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna promise you right now. I'm gonna promise you, I am not gonna try and find some tricky way through everything. I am actually just gonna go the intended route. I think that we'll all be happier that way. I say as I try to bomb, bomb up the side. Uh, does this net me? Is there game to be had from this? See, I don't. It, and then, then, then this app. Oh, hi there. See, I'm glad I bombed everything. I get the Mario suit that reduces your damage. Just uh, go ahead and look away. I'm gonna put this on. I made sp spiky shoulders. That was the very suit, huh? Well, that's uh, very uh, convenient for me. Uh, not really, because I didn't, I didn't, there wasn't much that I couldn't withstand before. So it's upgrading me. <laughs> Come on. I think a super predictable pattern like that would be easy, easy to... Oh no, 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 no. The Reaper no get fooled like Papa Jew. Oh no. Guys, if... if, if if you've never seen 
the film masterpiece film The Hills Have Eyes 1 and 2 that line is from part 2 it sucks don't watch it don't, you don't need to know you don't have to know about the Reaper and Papa Doo just let it go well there is something that we had up there I think I didn't notice that Do this? Yeah. Yeah. Retread. Retreading across the USA. Um. What am I just doing? <laughs> no, stop it. I don't want to be lame, but I'm just I'm having fun playing this game, so I don't. I want to include you in that. I want to include you. Uh, the problem is you're not actually real. And so, I have to kind of, I have to pretend that you're saying things to me, uh, just, just for the sake of continuity, not because I'm a fucking maniac. So I just, I'm pretending at all times that I'm getting like a, a reaction. It's, it's not real, you guys. You're not real. The person that I'm... You, oh, dude! Life is kind of cool sometimes. Remember? Like earlier, like when that missile... I couldn't get it. The truth is, I could have got it. If I had stuck with it. If I had attracted the right forces. So to speak. Okay. Rematch. Oh, hello. I thought I took care of this guy already. What the hell's going on? Oh my god. You're making me look like a spaghetti factory. Oh my god. Okay, chill out, man. Chill out. What? <laughs> oh man, that was just good comic timing right there. <laughs> you just like, I thought he was gone. I thought he pieced out of there like Wolverine in X-Men Apocalypse. Just like, mm, nah, I don't think so. Not today, my good man. Uh, again, you don't need to understand that reference. It's not, it's not essential to your life story. Such a stupid movie. So horrible. And then, and then what happens every fucking time these people make... Okay, wait, wait. I'll, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. Don't worry, I actually am not... I actually have a pretty good uh, ability to remember that I have things hanging in my mind. What they are may be more elusive. Fuck, that guy's a real... That guy's a real piece of work. Hi there. Yeah, what do you want? Do a little rainbow jump. See, because I know I gotta talk about something, but, but what it is, man is completely gone. That's what I was saying. I knew that I was saying something like that, but I don't know what it was. So, just not the best at that. That's all I'm saying. What? <laughs> no. This is the buffer zone. I'm gonna get, get my ball all buffed up. Oh, it's so fun. It's so fun. What a delight. What? <laughs> okay, go in there. Oh, yes. This is fun. Where am I going? What's happening? I got the wave beam. Guys! You're not you're not looking. <laughs> um chick. See now that shows that displays there. This is a quality piece of piece of weaponry I'm working with. It does me right. Oh I could just come back that way. Okay, now how does this do, huh? That's what they do, they give you this really hard guy, they let him kill you once, and then they say, oh, now you have, uh, what was it, the wave beam? Now you have the wave beam. Here you go. It still sucks, these guys are... Whoa, some sort of rudimentary screw attack I got going on. Demolish this thing. Let's try the bombs. How do the bombs do? This is actually the, probably my best strat right there. So they give you a new gun and then, it's, and then, they, then the real strat is better. Don't use the gun. The strat is to not use your new toy. Uh huh. I, see, even 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 right now, even right now, guys. I oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I was talking about the X Men. 
See, it, it takes me a while, but I, I do... I, fuck. I do come back. I do come back. I like to come back. I like to resolve things. I like to have things resolved. There's this... Uh, so, like, in trying to map human personalities and commonalities and differences between people, uh, they arrive at usually the kind of the kind of things you find arrive at a big five or a big four personality traits that you know you're, that are binary they're like either in a way kind of like the Myers-Briggs thing where it's like it's either or you're either thinking or judging or whatever um, but big five personality traits right and one of them is your your tolerance for things being left hanging for like ambiguity or um, you know unresolvedness I gotta say, I'm 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 the very worst of that one. That one, I, or I don't want to say worst, but the, I'm to one side on that one really hard. I I hate leaving things hanging. I hate leaving things unsaid. I hate when I don't understand my role <laughs> or something like that. Or I don't, you know, um, very little tolerance for that. But I've learned how to be like chill in spite of the fact that I'm freaking out. I'm definitely freaking out though, and there's kind of no way around that. It's just physiological because of things that happen. I'm not. I'm not just talking and ignoring what's going on in the game. This is a really hard part. <laughs> okay, it wants me to not go up. Okay, I told you I wasn't gonna cheese, so I'm not gonna cheat. I'm just gonna go the right way. But I'm out of missile, so I have to cheese. I have to cheese, motherfucks. Well, this is a real pickle. Let's try this. Let's try this. It's going up. Keep it going. Keep it going. Ugh! <laughs> oh, fucking asshole. Alright. Yeah, okay, I'm a dick. Oh, maybe I'm not a dick. Maybe I'm a cock. <laughs> yeah, alright. Okay. Sorry, this is this sucks. This is boring. I'm the worst. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Let me go up. No. Quit fucking around, kids. Oh my gosh. Okay, no, no. New plan, new plan. My god! <laughs> This really puts you through the ringer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Going up. Yep. Gonna kill it. Oh, this is tough too. Gosh. I wish I hadn't have put myself in this situation. Or do I? Or do I? That's the real question. Oh man, and I'm out of missiles. That was my whole point. Okay. I knew that one. Get in the fucking ball. Get in that ball. Okay. Ugh. Ah! Ah, no! You're making me look so terrible. Okay, okay. Strategy three. Maybe if I quit changing my strategy all the time, I'll, I'll actually be able to do this. Okay, go up. I'm embarrassed, I'm embarrassed. Go, 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 go. You're embarrassing me. Get the fuck up, that fuck. There must be another way. There thought that doesn't work. I was... Uh. <sighs> okay, let's make a plan here. Let's make a plan. And I, I'm coming back to X-Men. You chill the fuck out. I need a plan to get out of this room without boring you. Don't you act bored too. Sometimes I wonder about you, Samus. I wonder if you're really... if you're really in this relationship. Go up. How did I do it? Can we rewind? Can we re just rewind, please? <laughs> okay. Game face. That's it. That's how you do it. That's it. I'm doing that every time now. Yep. <sighs> wow. Unforgiving. Unforgiving room. And it's because I had to go up that way. That's why. They knew. Just don't go the cheese way. Stop it. See, that's the cheese way. Here's the cheese way. Watch how it happens. Oh, never mind. There's nothing. That's what happens. Because they know that I'm a, just a walking cheese detector for the for the basics, for the, for the 101 level stuff. So they just don't include that. Instead, you get a whole you get the whole cast of Phantom Menace coming after you. This is my favorite right here. There we go. Peace. Peace and out. Just like Wolverine. And now I'm back. Hi. 
So every single time that an X-Man, X-Man's movie comes out, I'd be like, yo, I like comic book movies okay. They're fine. I'm not, I, I, I mean, they're, they're, they're for kids, and I'm, I have, I'm a child at heart, and I like that, so I have a good time. I want, I have fantasies of having powers beyond the, the normal, and, and I get to live them through my friends, uh, Iron Man, Spider Man, uh, Professor Xavier. These, these people, maybe, but, um, the, the X-Mans never really did it for me. They never really were my cup of tea. I felt like there were many of them, and uh, that nobody really stood out for me. I know everyone loves this one and that one, and that's their favorite, and that's kind of what you do. You know, Pokemon, you pick your favorite. But I don't have a favorite. I don't, I don't like them. I don't think they're well... Um, I just don't... They don't turn me on. You know? they don't, I'm not like... That's my struggle, uh, Cyclops. I have... I have eyes that I can't prevent from shooting lasers all the time. I have this tremendous power inside of me at all times that I have to keep in check, or else I could hurt people. That is such a Phantom Menace drone. Okay, shit, 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 shit. I didn't take a lot of damage here. <laughs> Just making me think of the Phantom Menace pisses me off right now. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. Oh man, you know what I should do though? Um, so I was just cruising around YouTube, whatever, and sorry. Um, and I found this video that I thought was so funny, which was it was like one of those things where they they take all the footage from a movie and just kind of edit it into their own like jam, and they kind of change the genre and change the meaning of what you're seeing. And it was it it actually did the Darth Jar Jar theory, which I think is like hilarious and awesome. And I I just really wish that it was actually true and that that was George Lucas's intention. But um, if I if I forget, I won't forget to put that link in, but um, check out the Jar the Darth Jar Jar fan series. Um, if you need if you need the Phantom Menace to be okay in any sort of way, I think that that accomplishes the trick. And beautifully, amazingly well done. I think that oftentimes the kind of fucking I think that oftentimes people on Reddit are, are better storytellers than people in Hollywood. I mean, Hollywood can put the makeup and, and explosions and they can do the fooder stuff. But obsessed, triple-faced fans seem to uh, really think about things critically. Uh, did I go this way? And every time... Okay, I totally went that way. Let me out of here, let me out of here. Every time there's a new X-Men movie, everybody's like, oh yeah, I know that the other ones were fucking bullshit that you had to sit through, and that everyone said they were good, but they actually weren't. But but this one's different. X2. Uh, they're united this time, not not divided. Or, uh... Oh, they're rebooting it. They're rebooting it. They're reboot. Well, you know why you have to reboot something? Because it's fucking sucks and isn't relevant anymore. Or is it? Because if it is, why are we rebooting it exactly? I mean, are we acknowledging that there's mistakes here, or do we just like somebody else's story and want to tell it again? A little bit of both. So I'm also, I'm also super sick of that, and what is X-Men movies? No matter how many times they make X-Men movies, the whole thing is just origin story, origin story, origin story. They like, they like try and pack like 15 of those in there. And the thing about origin stories is they like, they explain something that you need explained. Um, I do not need to know. You tell me, yo, for some reason all these people are getting superpowers. It's like a mutation. Cool, that's it. I'm done. You know how I introduced that movie? How long did it take? Uh, three seconds? Yeah! High jump boots! High jump boots! That maximum jump high has been increased. You guys love my singing. You love my singing so much. That's part. That's probably the only reason you keep coming back. You just want me to. Maybe he'll rattle out another old jingle this time. And every fucking time. No. no I got a, a little mouse hole now. I had a mouse hole and still got fucked. This is so neat. How close can you get? Not that close. Oh, there we go. Let's just pepper him with bullets. Pepper him with the bombing bombs. The bappy bat. The mappy maps. Whoa! Floop 
Bloopy bloop. Oh my god. Look at me go. Look at me. I can just fly all over the place. Look at. See, all that time I was trying to cheese without this. That's how stupid my ass is. Why don't I get the energy thing? Why don't I get, get the fucking energy thing? Every. So. I, I did smarten up. I did wise up. At a certain point and, and stopped watching X Men movies. And. Ooh. The pressure was on, brother. The pressure was on. Oh. The put, put, put. The fucking, you know, after one, two, and three, whatever, and uh, I don't know, whatever. After one, two, three, and then then they start like going like, oh, they go back in time though. You love time time travel, right? Yeah, I do love time travel. I love time travel. You know what I don't love is origin stories set in a different time with no time travel. And that's you want you want to leave a message in the comments and tell me that that is not the plot of uh, the one that everyone liked, um, Days of Future Past or whatever. Whatever, there were two, and they were bullshit, and I don't have to see them, because I know they're going to be bullshit, so fuck off. <laughs> I get aggro about this, because you guys are really trying to deceive me. No, oh, this one's good, this one's good. Yeah, dude, are you a fan of the comic books? No. Well, oh, it doesn't matter, dude, it's good, it transcends. And it sucks, it's boring, it sucks. Uh, I, like, I like a couple things, but you know what? Let's stop, let's just stop seeing a uh, Magneto origin story. I I don't know a thing about the guy. I've never seen him in action, but I have seen him origin. I have seen that. Yeah, cool. Kind of excavated that area out. Okay, so, uh, kind of what I, <laughs> If there is fruit to be born from from this monologue, this diatribe down here, it is the, 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 the saving grace of the entire series of watching X-Men movies and, and just being bored and feeling manipulated and sweet dreams and made of me. Like, but what the hell was that? Come on. If you know what I'm... It was the preview. Just watch the preview for, Apoc for Apocalypse. It's like, that scene comes out of nowhere. Quicksilver, like, I guess he's he's just way the fuck more powerful than anyone else. Because if you really, if you really crunch the numbers in your head... Super speed is the same thing as super strength, and I didn't see any counterbalance to that. Like, oh, well, he's moving super fast, his body becomes relativistic, and is therefore less density, you know, or something like that. It's like, if you can move that fast, that means you can, like, throw a knife so hard that it'll go through, like, a car. Because speed, at a, to a certain extent, speed requires strength to propel it, to accelerate so, long story short, that doesn't make sense, and I don't need it to make sense, because it's a, it's a fucking kid's comic book story, but then he's, like, all, you know, doing the thing that's, like, very now and very Marvel, where it's, like, oh, I'm doing all this really impressive, crazy shit, and I have the time to, like, stand behind a guy frozen in time and, like, fix his hair, or, like, take a drink of his soda. That's how casual I am about it, and it's so hip I am. It's just fucking, no, you wouldn't do that. Time has stopped, your, your split second saving every person in, in an exploding building, you're kind of being a fucking asshole if you're doing style stuff, because what if you make a mistake? What are you, infallible too? Is that another of your powers? That's quite a, that's quite a roster there, so yes. Long story short, Quicksilver can kick anyone's ass, straight up, according to what I've seen, what I've experienced. And like... Like, I don't care. That doesn't that doesn't need to be different. I don't need to, like, fix that or anything. I just kind of... I'm like, oh, this is for kids. Okay, cool. This is interesting. Okay, cool. I, I can maybe find some appeal in that. But then don't don't act like you're being mature or intelligent. All right. So, <laughs> um, let me... I got three things going on in my brain right now. They are... They are summing up the X-Men Apocalypse... This, this is another, there's like a beta Metroid or something, it's like a different type of Metroid. Um, and the other thing, though, other than surviving, is <laughs> that that doesn't do shit. He needs a missiles. Maybe bombs? Oh, okay, bombs are the shit. What's with these, like, spring coils? Does that mean anything to you people? Uh... Interesting story. So you remember when in the sacred Chozo chamber when I had to fight that like uh, potato pig? You guys remember the potato pig? 
So in my log, I scanned my logbook. I actually did that. <laughs> wow, this guy's really cool. In my logbook, it explains that that is, um, if you don't know anything like about Metroid, the, it's like the Chozo um, are, are like the enlightened ancient ones who, who have like largely vanished from the world, but Samus is two things, basically she's like a bounty hunter and sort of a modern day, uh, modern day Chozo style warrior, which, which is the reason why you go around and collect power-ups from these like statues of the Chozo, the bird people. Those are like their sacred artifacts that allow them to combat the forces of evil. Okay, so he goes back and forth between ground combat and air combat, and the air combat is really tough. And so all your power-ups are like these, your, your Chozo hookups from the bird people, and, and they're kind of counterbalanced by the evil, like, biological contagion Metroid and, and such. Um, that's debatable, whether they're, like, nemesis. Um, because because Metroids are largely just biological. They're a biological thing. They don't have like an agenda, um, other than just to survive and colonize the universe. But the Chozo are like the the enlightened ones. They give you the spring ball. That's their spring ball I'm using. And the the idea that I can morph into a ball is like something I learned from their teachings, apparently. So they're like my secret little helper buddies. And the thing about that chamber, it, it actually was like a sacred temple chamber, <laughs> so we got that part right. Um, but that thing wasn't a bad guy, it was actually a security device installed by the Chozo, and you notice it um, it had those different colored attacks that can be that can be dealt with using, you know, your various powers. That's like a test, like if you're Chozo, this thing won't be a problem, so you take that thing out, it goes back upstairs, and, and you pass the security test, and you can... You can obtain the holy artifacts so that I just thought that was kind of a cool little little bit of lore that they included um, and it's a recurring thing in all these games nice I'm doing good I'm doing good look at that we cleaning up we cleaning up I'm still a little bit uh, still a little bit confused about some of this stuff let's see what's down down this packet here oh oh my god okay so that guy's dead he's gone uh, I'm full of juice, I'm good. Yep, okay. So just to sum up... <laughs> uh, they made that... Um, I'm not going to sum it up, I'm going to keep going for quite a while, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, a broken save point, what is that? Net me. What do I get? Nothing? Cool. Uh, then, so I got bored or whatever, and uh, I, I just, I watched... Uh, the one, the one where Wolverine fights Sabretooth and Deadpool at the end, and I, I was dis. Here's a funny thing about my psychology. Um, I have a, I have a, a crazy crush on Naomi Watts, the actress, the Australian actress. I have a crush on exactly like three actresses, because uh, I think it's lame to have a crush on an actress because you don't really, you don't know that person and they don't know you, and that's kind of weird. But it happens, you see them do dramatic stuff, you see them behave as, as characters that you find heroic or meaningful, and you know, you get some feels for them, that's okay. Plus, maybe they're just like a ripping, ripping super babe. I found out that um, he saw that, I think it was an Elijah Wood kind of indie drama vehicle called Everything is Illuminated. The director of that was the guy who played Sabretooth, he's kind of... Um, I don't know, he, he doesn't really stand out, he's kind of got like a square chin and kind of a scarry sort of face. He's kind of buff, you know, he's like a tough guy. Imagine he could deliver quite a headbutt. Well, so he was married to Naomi Watts. And I actually looked that up one day because I was just curious, like, you know, is she single? Naomi, if you're out there, what's up? You probably don't want to have anything to do with me. But maybe you do. Maybe I'm just what the doctor ordered. Maybe you're tired of all these sexy, successful men that make a lot of money and could be with anyone. You're in the market for well, something different. Like an uh, unsuccessful YouTube channel host. Yeah. That's, that's a change of pace, girl. 
that's just what the doctor ordered. I'm not here to say, but so she was married to him, and the and it was funny to me. I actually felt like emotionally, like I felt, I was like, ah, like <laughs> like that changes anything in the world. It was just cute. I thought it was cute. And then <laughs> it's a little bit. Uh, and then I found out that they broke up, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, <laughs> again. That's probably sucks for everyone involved in the families, but but it made me happy and like because now I can move in, I can go in for the kill. Now. I can. I don't know. I, what do you email her agent or something? Yo, what's up? I heard I heard Naomi was single and uh, I thought Mulholland Drive was an incredible performance and uh, I, I liked her physical acting in uh, King Kong, her little dance number she does. I thought that was that was awesome. Okay, maybe do this. So whatever, chill out. I, I like Naomi Watts. You know? I like, uh, you want to know them all? You want to know all three of them? Got to stay tuned to this show. We're going to reveal them one by one. <laughs> I'm sure that's just burning in your mind. What celebrity crushes might Adam have? And don't get me wrong. Like, everyone that appears in film or television is, is sexy. Like, I would, I would bone if I could. And if that was practical and conditions were right, and I found them to be a respect, a respectable and trustworthy you know, person to let into my heart and thus into my sacred chambers, because I'm a romantic like that, and, and, I, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't just, just hit that. Moral vacuum? Yes. We're talking moral vacuum. There's infinite of those, every, all of them, every single one. Every famous person in the world would be nice in a moral vacuum, but we're, we're talking pragmatically here, like, let's get serious. I feel like Naomi and I would get along. We just, you know, she seems like, um, overall, uh, uh, kind of a spunky, uh, artsy, you know, uh, driven person. Just, you know, if you know Naomi Watts person, just let her know, baby, age ain't a thing for me. I mean, it is a thing. You don't want to be, you want to be old as fucking hell. And I'm not saying you're older, like you're looking old or anything like that, but I'm saying I'm going to go ahead and move on from this topic because I'm kind of coming off as creepy, but I'm just, honestly, I'm just trying to be funny. So, yeah, that movie I weirdly liked, the one with Saber. Uh, maybe because it was so not an X-Men movie. Okay. End of the story because I, I don't even care about X-Men. I don't know why I'm talking about it. <laughs> uh, you watch the whole fucking X-Men Apocalypse movie and, and it's just boring and I was like, oh cool, Sansa Stark's in this but she was nobody, she didn't exist in it she was just like there and it kind of centered around characters I didn't care about and the villain was just the most uh, kudos for making a legitimate comic book villain with like a totally one-dimensional agenda and unbalanced, unexplained power level <laughs> you know, and all that. They go to the, like, whatever, I don't know, the, the Hydra or the Weapon X, like, facility. And that's where, like, Logan has been kept and implanted with all of his shit, you know, all that stuff that he's got. And so he, you know, he they let him out or whatever, he escapes. And, okay, so, it's all about this. So it's all about, I got health, I got missiles, let's do it. Let him go, let him go. <clears throat> toe the line, toe the line. Okay, this one's all about towing the line. I can already see that. Oh, not always. There's just no, there's no one strat. You got it. Woo! -hoo -hoo. They started doing that bombardar business. What a delight. Uh, gosh, are they changing? Are they evolving like on an individual level too? They kind of see, maybe. <laughs> what a fun fight. What a del Every one of these fights, well, most of these fights have been awesome. So then there's this like crazy, it was obviously like, I feel like it was obviously like the same scene that we saw in, in Rogue One where like, oh my God, Darth Vader is a horror movie villain. Like, look at him go. He's in the dark and it's like lights up one thing and then he's choking one guy, throwing another, fucking cutting a guy in half. They do that with Wolverine. He's like running through a hallway like, yeah, I'm just like actually doing what Wolverine claws would do to a human being, which is really fucking disgusting. I mean, those things would shred you up like cheese, man. Adamantium claws, I mean, 
It's like, how do you make a kids movie with a guy like that? He's he, he's literally just like a meat a meat machine, meat shredder. I need a save point, yo. I should go up back up to that save point. Cool. That'll let me let me let my mind wander because I'm gonna actually play it cool and not have to retread again. I do learn. I do learn. Watch me learn. <laughs> and. So, so, but that scene is is remarkably short in in terms of like how this, how actually like time long it is. So he he snicks up a couple people and and he might call someone bug. I don't remember. Um, but but essentially he he, it's like here's the Wolverine you wanted. You don't like the shitty movie? That's cool. Here's Wolverine. You get him for like one minute, <laughs> and he comes into like the. Okay, here's the scene. Here's the scene. He, he comes into, like, the hallway of the facility, and he sees the, the new X-Men, you know, that are banded together now, and I think Cyclops and Mystique were there, and a couple others. He takes one look at these fucking kids doing their fucking kid bullshit. He's got no shirt on. He just looks at him. You think, he, what's his line going to be? What's he going to say? Books it out the door, runs into the snow, hangs a left, and he's gone. And it's like they know how funny that is because they continue to show the space where he was for, for like longer than you normally would edit that. They know that's fucking, they know that's ridiculous. Because uh, he's just basically like, yeah, I'm Wolverine, I'm badass, check this out. Okay, p peace out, I don't want to be in this movie, this movie is a joke. And then, then they, they're making one now that looks like it's going to be a hit. I don't know whether I'll like it, but it looks like it's going to be a hit. Because, uh, you know, here's the one, here it is, Logan, Logan's out. Logan's in theaters to put a time stamp on this episode. Uh, it, I'm not gonna watch it. Fuck you. Get off my. Get out. You've lost your privileges. I'm not watching that movie. You're gonna tell me. Oh, you're gonna give it a, an Oscar. <laughs> you probably won't do that. But you're gonna act like it's like really good, and I'm gonna watch it. And I'm not gonna like it, so I'm not gonna watch it. What I liked, I'm paid off or paid in full. I'm done. What I liked was Wolverine taking one look at what's going on in that movie and booking it. As far as I'm concerned, that is the end of the X-Men saga. We're done. Unless you want to put him in an Avengers movie. And uh, let me just say, if you uh, if you aren't a fan of comic books and you think this subject is kind of nerdy, you're right. You are actually correct. But this is a show where I play children's video games with a very adult attitude. Right? Isn't that kind of the Lydox seal? So, with that in mind, you see what we've done today? This green area here? Yes, we've done that. I, I wish there was kind of a big coup de gras, if you will, but I don't think we're going to get that. I can still go over there in the blue there, too. I think we're going to keep going down on the next episode. And uh, I want to kind of have a gimmick. I want to try and have a gimmick on the next one. That's my goal. So, hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.